Hey, this is Tim from Texas Reptile Zoo. This video is about the cotton mouth. Please do not try this at home or attempt to do anything that you see in this video. Please enjoy. Thanks for watching. What I have right here is a cotton mouth, otherwise known as a water moccasin. Now you can see I'm right next to the snake. There's no camera trickery here. This snake is a placid snake. It's a placid or docile venomous snake that we have in Texas. Now people give it a bad reputation. Lots of stories about this thing chasing you down, hunting you down, but look at that snake. Not trying to get me at all. You don't have to kill this animal. It's not out to get you. It's not out to envenomate you. You can see he's not threatened by me. I'm not trying to poke him or attack him. But what I'm about to show you in the next few segments of this video is me swimming with them and showing you that they are just as placid as this guy right here. And so when people are senselessly killing them, and how wrong that is. This animal has feelings, it has a job to do, it just wants to live its life. So if you see a snake that you don't like, or even something else you don't like, just walk away. Cottonmouths are great swimmers. They inflate their lungs to keep them on the surface of the water while their tail dips in like an oar, propelling them. As you can see here, I'm swimming right behind this snake. It is not paying me any attention to it. Now, just like a human swimmer, snakes get tired as well. So the snake is going to look to get itself to land so it can rest. If your boat happens to be near a swimming snake, guess what? You're a floating log to them, so they may try to climb on board to hitch a ride. Cottonmouths are most active in the evening time. This is the time they hunt for prey. Look at this one just cruising around. Cottonmouths acquired their name for when they go into a defensive position. They're going to rear back, open their mouth, show you their fangs. And of course, the lining of their mouth is a white color. This is a beast of a cottonmouth at least three feet long. Now, we're reacting to each other's presence in a very calm manner. He can sense I'm not a threat to him as he is not to me. think cotton mouths are good looking during the day just look at that pattern underwater even with the night lights beautiful snake now please keep in mind I'm in the water swimming with these guys and they're just scared of me here's one on the bank look at this guy you can see he's flicking his tongue trying to figure out what I am as I put the camera near him let's see what he does now just as I suspected, this guy's gonna take off. Snakes don't want to get involved with humans when there's danger. They just want to get away, just like us. Cottonmouths will feed on a variety of aquatic life, as well as rodents and other prey items. They'll also clean up. This guy has a dead fish. You can see as I'm approaching, he's backing away. Don't take my food. Here's another cottonmouth, clearly in hunting position. This guy's searching for food. I'm gonna ease up behind this guy and see how close I can get to him. Now clearly I have his attention. Look at him turn around. Now he's not striking, he's flicking his tongue out. He's curious, he's zoned in, what is that? Now he's gonna pause here He's gonna see, whoa, wait a minute, that's not something to eat. Ah, uh, I better get out of here. It takes a lot of resources for the snake to make its venom. It wants to use it on food, not you. If you see a snake you don't like, please walk the other direction. Don't put yourself at risk, especially if you don't know what kind of snake it is. Senseless killing of an animal because you don't like it is not the answer. You're in their territory, and 
and a live snake is needed to make anti-venom for an accidental bite, it's better to have respect for the animals.